today I'm going to teach you about the solar system and if we all have a little look you can see it already playing out for us so it's like we're watching it in action. I can go back and show us some different planets. Should we zoom in on some other planets? Okay, you want to see Mars? Okay, let's see Mars. There we go. So this is Mars. What do we notice about circling around Mars? What we've got here, guys, this is our standard skeleton. I'm just going to talk to you about the different parts um, and what their function is. Now, we're down to our pelvis. Now, our pelvis is, is where? If I just show you, the actual pelvis is this big dish, this big plate that's fused around here. And we can feel the top of it just in, in, in where we are here. So as we've come around, the sacrum, look at the sacrum, which is the bit of the... It helped me understand more about the solar system and more clearer and more clear about the skeleton, because you can see it up close. It just looks better, easy for you to figure out than, than 2D. I've like seen the planets move around, like the coming up diameters and all that stuff, like give you a real visual in your head. Just being able to see the solar system in a whole different perspective, because you get a better understanding of how, like, what planets move and like, the way that they move. 3D really helps in the classroom because it engages students straight away. The kids were first of all amazed by what they saw in terms of it actually physically coming out to them, um, almost to the point where they could reach and grab it. I think with the class that I taught, it really helped with their understanding. And whenever I'm trying to explain new concepts and ideas to them, they need to have some kind of a visual. And usually it ends up with me drawing sort of little pictures on the whiteboard, which aren't that great, um, or picking up props and trying to move it around. Pupils' um, engagement was, was, was really good. We found that they were constantly looking um, for different parts within the pictures and the images. Um, it was really nice to also include um, actually them feeling their arm as well as seeing it so they can see what's going on and be actually part of the lesson and part of what's happening in front of them. More and more we're fighting against kids being more interactive with other, other technology outside of school so I'd like to bring it in school so that it's easier to engage. The other benefits of using 3D in the classroom is the students are quiet and focused and they're, they're not, there's not really any low level behaviour issues because they're so interested in what's going on. I think it would benefit all departments around the school. Um, I think any subject can make it work for them. Subjects like PE, um, even when you go as far as maths and looking at dimensions and the way buildings are designed in art, um, it can be used cross-curricular and it's a tool that can be used in every subject. We pre-tested the children and then we post-tested them. And I think a significant thing was is that children in the usual classes, so in the 2D classes, around about 50% of the children are actually not learning anything. So actually their post-test results were less than their pre-test results or the same. So you've had six to eight weeks of learning without any changes in the children's learning. If we compare that with the 3D classes, the 3D classes we saw on average an 86% of children had improved over that time. So they had a better score in the post-test. What was then interesting is when we looked at the children who'd improved both in the 2D class and in the 3D class, we found that the children in the 3D class, the rate of improvement was double the rate of improvement for the 2D children. So putting that simply, not only had the 3D children improved significantly more in terms of their test scores, but the rate of improvement was also better, which I think is really interesting. If you then put that together with the findings around whether they retained the information, because what we did was we, we looked at them four weeks later, whether they actually were remembering the work that they had. What we saw there was not only did once again the 3D children remember more, but the quality of what they remembered was different. They were able to remember more detail.